We ensure that the fund kicks in before the extension of the ETS does, and that the majority of funding is spent as structural measures and investments for building renovation and zero and low emission transport, which will, of course, have the biggest cl uh, climate and environmental impact. The fund will target vulnerable households and transport users, including the lower and middle income ones in cities as well as in rural areas. But let's be clear, we in this room, we might be relieved that the negotiating process is over. But this is no laughing matter. High energy prices are still keeping Europeans awake at night. And the social impact of this climate transition is much bigger than this limited fund. To address this, member states and the EU level need to work hand in hand, and spending from our European budget should be much more focused on the real priorities, including a fair climate transition for all. We've said it as EPP in the beginning, two years ago of uh, this debate, if the Green Deal does not provide jobs in Europe, it will not be successful. But it's actually only the beginning, because for this strategic industrial policy that we also need, we're still looking at the Commission. The beginning is there with your proposals for the Net Zero Industry Act, but more n m might need to be done. So I hate to say, but let's get back to work. Mm -hmm.